All right, let's talk a little bit more about the temperature and the heat pump and such as that. You may notice behind me I have the wood stove going. Uh, it's uh, <clears throat> two, minus two degrees right now. When I got up this morning, it was minus seven. We had let this fire go out and we have a little small propane heater, like a little space heater back here in the back room. And we basically keep this back here because the uh, it's just the farthest point from the other heater there. That's one of those little, I don't know, you don't pay much for those, you get them at uh, any of the hardware stores. Little inexpensive propane heater anyway. Somebody asked me what kind of heat pump we have. Oh, that's a good question. Let's see if it tells us. It says it's a Fujitsu Halcyon DC inverter. Um, anyway, got up this morning, it was seven below outside. It was 62 inside. What I've noticed with the heat pump is that the colder it gets, the higher you have to raise the thermostat. Uh, here's the thermostat right here, and it's set to 80 degrees. So at 80 degrees by this setting, that's the thermostat, and it being seven below outside, it was 62 in here this morning with just that little propane thing running in the back room. What we generally do when it gets this cold is we fire up the wood stove or we turn on the furnace. We've got an oil furnace in the basement too. Um, just because it um, doesn't seem like it's necessary to make that thing work that hard to make heat and beside the wood stove feels mighty good. You know when it's this cold outside it just feels cold. Uh, even if you warm the house up like right now inside here with that wood stove going it's 78 in here. When that thing gets cranking it's not unusual to see it get up to 80, 84, 85 degrees in the house and you think that would be really hot but when it's below zero outside that feels pretty good in the house so I'm just saying anyway um, I had two of my drills that were kind of frozen up yesterday it didn't seem like the charger was charging so I actually brought them in in the house here and plugged them in in order to get them charged up I was working on that project upstairs the honey baby that, that uh, dresser product project with the drawers in it and I got right to the point of putting the handles on and my drills were all froze up and nothing would work. And I had to go out and get an electric drill to drill those final five holes, which is kind of an unnecessary pain in the neck, but you know, that's the way it is when it's this cold. So one of the things I would like to do, I did it a little bit yesterday, is get the big Ford out and just drive around in the snow. The snow is nice and dry. Uh, I was worried a little bit about it getting stuck. In fact, I'd love to take it back in the quarry and drive it around a little bit. In fact, it'd be great if I could get somebody to be a, like a camera person because it's hard to set the camera up and drive by it and get anything much on video. If you had someone to follow the car and hold the camera, it'd be a lot easier. But most folks don't want to be outside when it's this cold. And I can't say that I blame them. So I don't know if that's something that will happen or not. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to share that. Somebody did ask about the uh, the heat pump and I'm I'm happy with the heat pump our electric bill has gone up but it hasn't gone up anywhere near what we were paying for fuel in fact I was looking at what we were paying for fuel last year and there was some months when we spent eight nine hundred dollars having fuel tanks filled twice during the month I think that was for propane and uh, this might have made our electric bill go up by a hundred bucks or so we'll see how it does this month that it's really cold but uh, I'm totally happy with the heat pump I'm just saying, I wish you'd look, somebody's out there running, as cold as it is, somebody's jogging down the road out there. Now that's, that's a dedicated runner right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. 